Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about ClipChamp and what it can do for you in your classroom. Now, I've been using ClipChamp for some time now, and I can tell you that uh, it is quite a workhorse in everything that I want it to do. Uh, in, especially for an online video editor, uh, it completely surpasses my expectations of what I had at first. There is a desktop version of it. However, with uh, our setup with the state and our, our domain, it doesn't quite work quite yet uh, with that. Meaning that if I go into my email and I click on the app chooser up here, I've got a ton of different uh, programs I can use like Flipgrid, Stream, which are great programs for video uh, creation and editing. However, it uh, doesn't include ClipChamp yet. That being said, uh, it's very easy to start a, an account. I'm gonna click on sign in. So you could continue with Microsoft, but then it says that it doesn't recognize your work account, your school work account with the domain that we have with the state. So go ahead and click on continue with Google. And through some kind of magic, it, uh, it just works. And action, here we go. Here you can see I've got several videos that I've created already using this. And uh, what I've already learned quickly is that, hey, create a template of things that I use constantly, like my intro, my video, uh, or my, my audio that I use for there. And, uh, and then I can simply copy that, make a copy of it, and then edit that portion. And here I've got a video on using ClipChamp. And you can see in here that uh, there's recording and creation tools in here. You've got a full content library of audio and visuals that you can incorporate. If you're not very good at editing at all, it does have templates that kind of help guide you through that process. Here I've got text that I can add to here, transitions, and I'm not gonna get into the brand kit, but apparently there's a brand kit. The amount of granularity that you have for editing your videos and uh, elements within the video is absolutely stunning. On the right hand side here, I've got different items that I can customize, uh, such as fading video and audio in and out, different effects, adjusting colors, speed, transitions, and then adding uh, extra colors on top of that. When I'm all said and done, I can quickly click on export, and then I can choose what, uh, what video qualities I have. Now, it doesn't let me export in 4K, but I do get 1080 and that for me right there is, is good enough. A couple of more items to note is that I can import my own media and I can import them from OneDrive, which is very new to some people, uh, Google Drive, which is a little more common, and then uh, your Xbox account if you wanna bring in video gameplay perhaps, but uh, I don't see anyone rushing into doing that uh, anyway. More importantly, you can go into browse files and uh, Pick them from your own computer. So if you have something just uh, on a jump drive or something local on your computer, then you can upload that to the uh, to the web. And that's it. If you have any further questions, make sure you reach out to me. Please hit the thumbs up down below to like this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way, when new content's pushed out, you'll be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of the day.